What's up, guys? Um, so I'm on my way right now to uh, a clinic called Kinetic, Clinic, Clinic, All right. Uh, for they offered me a complimentary uh, consultation for a chiropractor session. We'll see how it goes. All right. I'll see you guys later. Here and that's nine o'clock, and uh, we'll see how it goes. That's oh, all right, let's go. Hey there. Hi, hi, I almost missed you guys. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know what it was. Hi, how are they going? I'm good, I'm Dustin. Pleasure Thanks for having me. I'm Ron. I'm Ron. Here you go. Do, do you mind this? No, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, go for it. Yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. I just want to see how it is. This is my first time actually doing anything with a chiropractor really lately. Wow. So, that's amazing. Okay. yeah, amazing experience. Yeah, Let's that'd be good. Seat. Thank you, man. Yeah, you let go a little bit. Okay. 
you're learning it better on the right because I think you're focused on the right. Okay, I see you. So, what's happening? I don't even think that's the problem. Normally, I'm not in actual clinic attire. I'm in like actual. So, what's happening is with the inside balls of your feet, mm -hmm. you lift off a little. And mm -hmm. it's, it's up in the hole of the squat and sometimes on the ascent as mm -hmm. well. And I'm exaggerating it by lifting like that. And it's because mm -hmm. you're gripping really well with your toes, mm -hmm. but you lift off and mm -hmm. lose that tripod basis support right. between uno, dos, tres. Right, right, right. Okay? Gotcha. So it's a matter of where where you get that stability from the ground up. Okay. Okay, and it, what we we call this creating a short foot, mm -hmm. where it's creating like you by no means collapse into your arch. You're actually very competent to your foot, mm -hmm. but just because you've been mentioning that you lose a little bit, you feel a little less no stable. Yeah. And if you cave and deviate inwards with that one heel mm -hmm. on fatigue reps, that just tells me like over time you're losing that. Um, endurance in those small little foot pumps. Okay. So basically, it's a difference between getting it from squeezing your toes into the ground and getting it from yes. that arch, yes. where I'm still holding it down, but I'm holding it with the inside ball of my foot. So I'm actually okay. getting more of that from here oh, I see. than from uh, from the toes. Right, right, right. I'm kind of gripping the floor a little too much, I'm kind of just kind of clawing it's it like very, that. It's very um, yeah. toes, it's, yeah. not, uh, it's, it's not, not the ball, ball. it's exactly. not the edge. Yes, that's very good. And all that means is that, that it'll translate to a lot more tension in the mm -hmm. inside of your shin, mm -hmm. rather than just being able to hold it naturally that's very with good. the ball yep. with the bottom of your foot Definitely. too. I think a lot of people are in a, a similar boat. Okay. Yeah. Um, just struggling to stay active. And right struggling now, to stay active we're in a maintenance yeah. phase, right? We just yeah. gotta... There's people working through COVID at home, they have actually been probably dreaming like crazy too. So, it is, right? so, so I think that people are home, they only can do whatever you want, but nah, people get more dreaming at home. So, I totally understand. Yeah, just, just keep, keep strong. <laughs> I, think, I think is what, <laughs> is what my, my overall message is. Cool. Um, but if you if you do want um, another set of eyes on different movement patterns mm -hmm. or um, a little bit of some of my quick and dirty mobility hacks and things mm -hmm. that I use, um, love to work with you. It's yeah. definitely something I can sure. help with. And, and uh, quick question for you. Yeah. So for chiropractor uh, side, I mm -hmm. guess, uh, what kind of I don't, I don't what do I do? What do you do? Yeah, I'm not, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because I see all those, all those videos about people cracking them and stuff, and I get it for, for the instant, re what's that instant release. Hundred percent. Yeah. So I'm like, mm, uh, do you feel like these are necessary? Um, it depends on it depends on the how severe. Okay. No, it depends on the root cause of your pain. Okay. Right. So in general, the person. So for you, it's like I, I don't think you would need an adjustment. Okay. So some people, at the end of the day, that's where the, the doctor hat kind of comes in, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise. If you're just throwing therapies out, you're just trying to hit a bullseye with a blindfold on, right? Mm -hmm. So an adjustment, for example, um, is really great for fixing a joint problem. Let's say I'm having trouble turning my head, checking my blind spot, I have less range of motion, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit of pinching pain, gotcha. I'm using a random example, but mm -hmm. um, sometimes that can be related to a joint issue in your neck, right? Okay. And in those cases, um, some people don't like getting adjustments and it just breaks them out. And I <laughs> I respect it, it, it right? So like it freaked, it freaked me out too when I first started. But it looks so satisfying on the video, and it's kind of like, man, do people actually do that all the time? I was like, yeah, I might as well ask you this time. Yeah, yeah. Right? And so the, the long story short is, it's, it depends on the person in your office. Okay. Right. So if it's a joint issue, an adjustment can help. There's also gentle things for people who don't like that sound. Um, that still work on on that joint mobility gotcha. as well, and whether that's something I can do with my hands or whether that's something. Like for hip mobility, right? Sometimes it, it's a rehab exercise I can give you too. Gotcha. But it's just people are a little bit more comfortable with because it's them moving their body rather mm -hmm. than someone else. So different strokes are different folks, but cool. um, there, there's that. There, that's kind of um, there's a spectrum within every profession, mm -hmm. and chiros are no different, right? So there's definitely ones that do mainly adjustments and mm -hmm. usually only adjustments. Absolutely. Right? I'm kind of a little bit more of if you could a you know, little bit more, I guess, of physio chiro cross. Right? where great. it's like a little bit more of that, um, like I do a little bit more hands-on massage work too and fascial release, mm, okay. um, following some of those strains of tension that uh, we talked about. Nice. Um, just a little bit more of that full body um, okay. approach and just kind of where where your tension lives and what's cool. contributing. It's not going to happen to isolation, right? So I do an adjustment if it's needed, I do some muscle work if it's needed, but 
it's all about figuring out what's the what's the tissue with the issue, right? Gotcha. Like what's what's the cause of your pain? Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and then it's it's using that therapy that I know will be effective for you. So I'll always recommend what I think will fix your problem most efficiently. Cool. Um, if it's needling, it's needling. If it's if it's acu like if it's uh, an adjustment, it's an adjustment. If it's more rehab, like mobility work, then that's what it is, right? So it's, it's a combination. Of, it's a lot of hands-on work mm -hmm. for the most part, and usually that's. It's all the feel-good tension related gotcha. stuff, right? So gotcha. like a, a good deep tissue massage for some and, and others, it, it can be different for each person. But, gotcha. um, to answer your question, like some for some people it is needed. Okay. Um, in your case, probably not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for now. <laughs> for now, for now. <laughs> right, but there's other things that we can do just to help relieve tension and just clear up certain ranges of motion for you um, in some of those functional movements too. Okay. So yeah, cool. so for you, I would probably take more of a hands-on approach, gotcha. um, and then complement it with a little bit of homework. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank this is awesome. You. Of course you can. Thank you so much. That was actually really fun. I'm, I'm so happy you did. <laughs> like I said, here, here if you need. Sure. Um, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Hey guys, just finished my consultation with Dr. Ann Yunus, and uh, it was fun and getting a different perspective of. Um, my own body and getting assessed for movement pattern from a an expert uh, that was definitely fun and really helped uh, kind of remind myself that these are little things here and there that I can still improve on and that was, that was really fun so if you guys are interested definitely hit her up I think it's going to be a little bit eye opening for a lot of people uh, so if you are experiencing hip pain knee pain any kind of pain I think this is definitely one of a great opportunity to invest in for your own body for longevity um, as well as being pain-free for years to come. So if you like this kind of video, definitely give me a thumbs up and uh, share the video with someone else. And uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time.